Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Binge Watching with Jason Legowskis. This is the vlog where I take the season of a television show and do an episode by episode review. Now we're on episode two of The Vampire Diaries. This one is called, wait for it, The Night of the Comet. So now our episode opens and we just see a giant eye. I see And it turns out this eye belongs to Elena. Come on guys, nobody wants to see just a picture of Elena's eyes. Show us a little bit more of her. This morning is different. I'm sorry, where was I? Oh yes. Cut to the hospital room with that girl who got chomped on by the vampire last episode is now lying in critical condition. Remember, we all thought she was dead, but she was only mostly dead. There's a big difference between mostly dead and all dead. So Jeremy, the little brother, is standing in the corner weeping. <laughs> Please, please, I beg you, I promise, if you make a full recovery, I'll be a complete asshole this entire episode. And she does. And he is. Seriously, dude. Meanwhile, at school, we see Stefan. Stefan. Let's try that in German this time. Das Stefan. Not the same. He suddenly overhears with his super hearing. The girl who got bitten said it was a vampire. So he runs on over to the hospital <laughs> and looks deep into her eyes and uses his vampire powers to hypnotize her. It wasn't a vampire that bit you. It was a wild boar. Wild boar is pretty tasty. Now let's get back to our main girl, Elena. Elena's decided she's gonna go see Stefan personally because this is going way too slow for her. She's gonna take it to the next level. If you're not having sex after the first episode of meeting somebody, what kind of world are we living in? Where's the morals? Where's the decency? Where is the harmony, harmony, harmony? I told you not to do that to me. So she goes to the house expecting to see Stefan and instead she finds the crow. <laughs> Damn again with the crow! Enough of the crow! Kill that crow! <laughs> Apparently, this crow is like Damon's pet or something. You know who else had a crow for a pet? <sighs> my pet. Mm-hmm. Got my eye on you, Damon. Suddenly, Damon is standing right there in front of her. Dude, personal space. Seriously. He looks at her all disdainful, like, You're the girl that my brother finds so tasty. You are pretty, aren't you? Too bad that he's not over the last one. <laughs> yeah, he sounds nothing like that, by the way. But no sooner does she turn around when there's Stefan standing right across the room, glaring at his brother. And Damon just glares right back. Seriously, this goes on for like five minutes. So in the course of this episode, Damon finds out that Stefan has hypnotized the girl. <laughs> so Damon thinks it'd be funny to go unhypnotize her. Oh, he's a jovial, jokey one, that Damon. Did you just say Matt Damon? No, that Damon. Anyway, so Damon runs out to the hospital and he unhypnotizes her and he takes her to the top of a building. He's dangling her off the edge. Stefan sees this with his supervision and he jumps up on the building and he says, let her go. Very poor choice of words. But then Damon gets a better idea. He re-hypnotizes her again. It was Stefan who bit you. No! So he throws her down at Stefan's feet. Stefan grabs her and goes, oh, I can't unhypnotize her because I'm not powerful enough. Because I only eat bunnies. Excuse me, what? <laughs> I only eat bunnies. Why am I watching this show again? This morning is... Different. Oh yeah, right. Moving on. Wasn't this episode titled The Night of the Comet? They mentioned a comet in passing, but it's not like it has anything to do with the episode. How do they come up with names for these episodes anyway? <laughs> I'll give you a dollar if you work a comet into this episode. Eh, writers. Sounds about right. But Stefan has an ace up his sleeve. Go ahead, leave her hypnotized. Then everybody will know that vampires are back in this town and they'll drive a stake through my heart. And you know what? Then I'll be free of you. And Damon goes, hmm, you know, that's not much fun. So Damon re-hypnotizes her into thinking that it was again a wild boar. And the day is saved. So Stefan goes to Elena's house. Hey, I'm sorry I keep making my family all a big mystery and leaving you in the dark. No, it's cool. It's cool. Let's just go over there and make out. 
Okay. And that's the end of the episode. Again, there was no comment. So that was episode two of The Vampire Diaries. I really wanna know where the subplot with this girl like a bit is going because they keep hypnotizing her back and forth and back and forth. But at some point, if she's been bitten and she's not dead, then she's gotta be turning into a vampire herself, right? They can only keep this a secret for so long before she's like, hmm, that's a tasty vein you've got there. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar if you suck it. That was probably crossing a line. Thanks for watching episode two of Binge Watching with me, Jason Legowskis. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe. Do it now. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time. Harmony, harmony, ha!